Hi there and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers Photo P on your iPhone tutorial. Okay, today we're going to have a go at doing one of these pixel stretch images like the one you see in front of you here. Um, we have a go at doing a couple of different versions of it so you get to see what you can do with this really cool effect. Okay, to make this work, first of all, you're going to need a photograph of a person probably, or you could do it with an object. Um, here's one in the background. Obviously, first thing you need to do is cut out the background. I've shown you how to do that many times now, so I'm not going to waste your time on this video by showing you how to cut out a background, but in, I have one I've cut out already. It will look like this. Um, you'll also need a plain white background. Again, I won't show you how to do that because you should know that already. If you don't, you click on a new layer and you paint bucket fill it white. Okay, here is up to speed on what we need to do. So we've got a white background and a person. This next bit is what I want to show you in this tutorial. Okay, we're going to make a copy of the person several times. We're going to shrink it really, really thin, so it, and then we're going to stretch it really, really wide, and it will create this really cool, like almost like movement effect that is the pixel stretch. It's very popular at the moment on the internet. Lots of people are doing it. So let's get into showing you how to actually make that happen. So first thing we need to do is go on the layer with the person on it. We need to go layer and duplicate layer. We're going to do that at least five times. Duplicate layer, duplicate layer. So we've got copy five. We're going to start at the very bottom where it says layer one copy. We are going to hide that, go onto the move tool. We're going to move that over here. We're then going to go onto layer two and we are going to move that in front of it like this. And we're going to go onto layer three and we're going to move that on top like so. Then we are going to go on to layer four and we're going to move that on top. And then we are going to go on to layer five and move that on top. We are then going to make sure that we are going to essentially put them all together. If we use a computer, we could right click and click on the top and bottom and then we could merge them together. Because we're doing it on my phone, we haven't got a right click option, so I've only got to work with my hands. We're going to have to go a longer way, so we're going to go. Layer merge down, layer merge down, layer merge down, layer merge down, layer merge down. Too many merges down, so edit step back. So we want layer one, copy five to have all the people on it. I'll close the eye on everything else so you can see what is happening. This is one image that we are then going to stretch together and then stretch really big to make the blurred effect. Okay, there's different ways of doing it, but this is the one I found works best for me at the moment. So we're going to go Edit, Transform. We are going to go to Scale. And where it says Width 100%, we are going to delete that, and we are going to leave 1%. So we end up with this tiny looking little line, which is where all the pixel colors are. Okay, I hope that made sense. So then we're going to go to Edit. It's going to sound really counterproductive. Transform and Scale. And this time, we're going to make it much, much bigger. Now, earlier on, I tried it when I was doing a practice version, and I tried 5,000. That wasn't quite big enough, but we'll try 5,000 today and see how that works. So you can see it's nowhere near wide enough. So... I think we're going to have to go for 50,000 seems almost too much. I'm going to go for 100,000. 100,000? Done. That's probably way too much, actually. But you can see it now gives us that effect that we're looking for. Okay, if I pop the person back on top and switch the layer order over, so I'm going to go to layer and arrange and send backwards click the layer and you can see it picks picks up the I need to move it slightly down it picks up where the person is and creates a really cool blurred effect okay now what i need to do next is just take the section that i can see that's visible and put that on its own layer so it makes the next step much easier so i'm going to go to layers i'm on the right layer i'm going to get a rectangular selection i'm going to draw a box 
all the way to the edge of the paper. I am going to go edit, copy, edit, paste, and I'm going to go to my layers, and I've got a layer with just that section on it. So I've got the layer with the person and layer with the section. Okay, I'm going to move the move tool and move that so that it's not it's exactly where I want it. So all the lines line up perfectly. Just wants to go that fraction bit higher. If you find that it's snapping like this, if you go to where you've got view and you've got snap, if you untick snap, you can then move it much more freely so it doesn't think it wants to tell you where it wants to go. You tell it where you want it to go. There we go. I'm completely happy where I've put it now. And now we're ready for that really cool twist. So some people like their pixel stretches and selections like this. I like to take it one step further and put a twist in. So we're going to go transform and we are going to go wrap. Now this is slightly complicated. We click the middle bottom bit square and we pull it up like so. And then we pick the top bottom one and we bring it down. And the middle one over here and we wrap that down there. And then the middle one of these we pull up here and that creates a sort of twisted effect. The corner one here we're going to pull down and around. And this one here we're going to pull up. This one in the corner we are going to pull down and around. And that one's gone too far so we'll bring that back to the head. Still too far, you just bring it in a bit, up a bit. And this is where you can have your, oh, let go, a lot of fun with your creative process. And because we're doing it on a phone screen, it's quite complicated to get it exactly where you want it. There we go, perfect. Now we click on the new tool, and we've got a really cool twisted effect. Now what's so great about that is we can do lots of different versions of this. And if I show you the one I had earlier, so if I hide that layer and open that layer, you can see the effect I had earlier is similar but different. And now I have this effect as well. And you can tell me which one you prefer in the comments below. Um, obviously, if we like it, we're going to go Files, Export As, and a JPEG. Hit Save, click Download, and we've got it in our files for later on. Okay, I'll just click on that tool as well so you can see the effect. So there you go. So we've got that one. Go to layers. Unhide that one. And we've got the one we had earlier. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed how to make a pixel stretch image. Um, have fun making your own versions. Obviously, if you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't already subscribed, if you hit the subscribe button and tick the bell notification next to it, you'll be notified when I post my next video. Okay, thank you very much for watching Quentin Carpenter, Nature of Flowers, and enjoy your day. Thank you very much. Goodbye.